Me and the boss saved some trees today, which was nice. This week we did 54 hours, plus everything else. I want to talk about why I disappeared from social media and from all my friends for a couple of years. And that's because I was one of these guys that was on social media, looking at everyone's photos and comparing my life to their life. If their life was better, then I would be sad. If my life was better, I would feel good. I would only post the things that I wanted people to see, creating this character which was not even me, but what I wanted to portray to people, some fake person, and I wanted a girlfriend, but the girls that I, I would see on Instagram and Facebook, uh, the girls with short skirts and their tits out, so I was thinking that's the kind of girl I wanted. But I wanted her to be a good girl, also. Anyway, I quit social media for that reason, to focus on myself. And it's been a long, bumpy ride. It took a couple of years for me to uh, awake from this mind state, along with other things that I changed on the way. It's not just social media, but yeah, now I am in love, I am happy, I found a girl that was also not into social media, we talked a lot before we got serious, and we're using social media at the moment a lot, and we will continue to use it, we will not disappear this time, I know who I am. I know what I am saying here. I am not afraid of posting my mistakes, the pauses I make when I talk, or any imperfections. So, if you don't know who you are, or you are lost, I do recommend taking a break from looking at other people's lives and focusing on your life. It's really helped me. Day number 48. Why I disappeared. Today I saw a guy that I worked with three years ago. I haven't talked to him or seen him for three years. And I met up with him today. And he told me that he's very happy to see me alive. I was a different person five years ago four or five years ago and I'm here now I have got some meaning in my life and life is great check out the quotes I got for tonight I really like these quotes he who knows others is wise he who knows himself is enlightened the first thing you have to know is yourself. A man who knows himself can step outside himself and watch his own reactions like an observer. Your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render the world. I have to repeat this one. This one is really good one your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render the world good night my friends i'll see you all tomorrow